my name is Brooke, and I'm one of the co-chairs of Veterans Day Committee. Hi, I'm Mahi, and I'm the other co-chair of the Veterans Day Committee. Every year, the Whitefish Bay Middle School has had a Veterans Day celebration to honor those who have sacrificed their safety for ours. Even though our usual day can't happen this year, Veterans Day is still as important as ever. In this video, we will be showing how much thanks we have for the veterans and how much their sacrifices have meant to us. Now to Mr. O'Connor for his opening remarks. Good morning and welcome to our annual Veterans Day Assembly. Well, I guess this isn't exactly our traditional assembly, so maybe I should welcome you to our Veterans Day observance. Each November, our school and our nation pauses to honor the brave men and women who have served and sacrificed in the name of freedom. Historically, we would gather in the gym with several veterans who have served uh, both at home and abroad, ensuring the continued greatness of our nation. Many of the servicemen and women who join us are friends and family of Whitefish Bay Middle School students and staff. Around here, we talk a lot about Lion Pride, perseverance, respect, responsibility, and integrity demonstrated every day. We call upon our students to demonstrate those virtues here at school and in our community. We really couldn't ask for finer examples of these virtues than the veterans that gather with us. So while they aren't able to physically join us today uh, and we aren't able to observe the Veterans Day with them, I know that we hold them in our hearts today. This observance of Veterans Day won't include the, the traditional breakfast or the musical performances or the videos of past years. However, I know that what you're about to see will continue the spirit of respect and admiration that is always present at our Veterans Day Assembly. I applaud and thank our student council for preserving the tradition of Veterans Day, even in the middle of a global pandemic. And at this time, I now invite you to join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Next is the Pledge of Allegiance reading by Ms. Lynch, the Student Council Advisor, and the rest of the Veterans Day Committee. The Pledge of Allegiance was written in 1892 by Francis Bellamy, and it stands as a symbol of our commitment, dedication, love for our country, and so much more. We put our hands over our hearts to further show our respect and love for our great nation. We know the pledge by heart, but let's consider the words, what those words mean, what those words represent, why we say those words. Red Skelton was a famous comedian, writer, radio, television, and movie actor whose career in entertainment spanned over 65 years. For almost 20 of those years, he hosted a weekly variety show called the Red Skelton Show. An Army veteran himself, having served in World War II, Skelton stepped away from the comedy and music that made his show so famous. And on January 14, 1969, he taught his audience, adults and children alike, about the meaning behind the words of the Pledge of Allegiance. Traditionally, we begin our Veterans Day Assembly with the Pledge of Allegiance. Today, we begin our Veterans Day video to learn about the pledge and its very important meaning to our beloved veterans and our beloved country. I, an individual, a committee of one. Pledge. Dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance. My love and my devotion. To the flag. Our standard old glory, a symbol of freedom. Wherever she waves, there is respect because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. United, that means we have all come together. States, individual communities that have divided into 50 great states, 50 individual communities with pride, dignity, and purpose, all divided into imaginary boundaries yet united into a common purpose, and that is the love for our country. And to the Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern. And the government is the people, and it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands, one nation under God. One nation meaning so blessed by God. Indivisible. Incapable of being divided. With liberty, 
which is freedom, the right of power to live one's own life without threats, fear, or some sort of retaliation. And justice, the principle or quality of dealing fairly with others. For all. For all which means, it's as much your country as it is mine. This is our country, the United States of America. And now, please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, the president of Whitefish Bay Middle School Student Council will give a speech. Hi, my name is Nora and I'm the Whitefish Bay Student Council president. This week on November 11th, we celebrate Veterans Day. You may be wondering why Veterans Day is such an important holiday to celebrate and why it's such an important tradition at Whitefish Bay Middle School. First, every year Americans celebrate Veterans Day in honor of the men and women who have served in the United States military. It is so important to thank and celebrate these people because they have fought for our country's freedom and have sacrificed so much. They work anywhere from months to years away from their families and may have put their lives on the line for, to defend our country. They have been through so much and they deserve at least one day dedicated to them. Every year at Whitefish Bay Middle School, we celebrate this holiday not only because of its importance, but to show gratitude for the brave men and women who have served in the military. In a normal year, we would celebrate this holiday by listening to veterans speak and inform us about this special day. They would talk also a lot about things that happen in the military. We celebrate this holiday because many students that go to, go to school at Whitefish Bay Middle School have relatives who are in the armed forces and should be recognized. Overall, Veterans Day is a great way to show your gratitude for anyone in your life that has served in the armed forces. These great men and women have fought for our freedom and happiness as a country, and on this day every year, they deserve to be thanked and celebrated for their service. video and Mrs. Detlaff's social studies class letters to the veterans. The memorial's breathtaking. In my mind, the memorial represents freedom for the world. To this day, all of the Pacific is free, all of Europe is free, and thank God America is free. Honor Flight provides, at no cost to the veteran, the opportunity to see the memorial that the American people have built on our National Mall. And I think that there's probably no better organization out there today that can provide something to somebody for nothing. If anyone wants to see the importance of honor flight, look into the veterans' eyes and how they tear up when they are brought here.
Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. When they walk into that memorial and they see that their friends will never be forgotten, that the, the sacrifice that they paid will always be cherished, always revered, always honored by this nation. They're taken back by that. Thank you. Welcome to the memorial. Thank you. For the World War II veterans, this is their last hurrah. They don't have reunions anymore. Most of their comrades in arms have all passed away. Quite often, they are the sole survivors of that tank crew or that ship or that air crew bringing them into their memorial. They come there representing all of their friends. Just have to remember where so many comrades are laying out there yet. And just one of these things, you know, before I die, I wanted to see it. Now I go home and if I croak, so what? I did it. I'm just sorry my wife couldn't be here. She died about six months ago. It's the best program I've ever been associated with. You know, we're all in the same fraternity. If it hadn't been for these guys, I don't know where we'd be today or what language we'd speak. I say about the terrorist, Al-Qaeda, if it weren't for these guys, we wouldn't have to worry about terrorists today. We'd already be occupied. We'd already be a different country. So we owe them a lot. There are families that we will call up and say, we have a seat available for your dad, only to be told that dad did not survive the winter. We're racing against a clock. In another five to seven years, it'll be a moot point. They will be gone. We're working as fast as we can, but we need so much support from so many people uh, to make these dreams a reality. This is probably the last chapter in their lives. And for some, it's literally the last paragraph of their lives. What a way to end their stories. This has been one of the really great days of my life. I'm sure glad I was able to live long enough to see it. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Dalloff and I teach eighth grade U.S. history here at Whitefish Bay Middle School. This is my favorite assembly of the year because in eighth grade, students learn about America's history. And today we celebrate and honor those who helped shape America's history. Most times when serving in the military, men and women are far away from home, away from their friends and family. Communication with them is very important to the service men and women. For servicemen here today, they didn't have the convenience of FaceTime, Skype, or even email. They communicated through handwritten letters. Mail call was a special time for soldiers because this is when they would receive letters from their friends and family. When our veterans go to the honor flight uh, in Washington, excuse me, take the honor flight to Washington, D.C., they receive letters that their friends and family have secretly written to them. This is a wonderful surprise for the veterans and a highlight of the trip. My students traditionally every year write letters to the veterans at the end of the Revolutionary War unit. Well, things are a little bit different this year, and we're not at the end of the unit yet where the students have written their letters. So a slight modification is that I took some uh, letters from students um, last year 
and had asked two of my current students to share these letters. So up next, we have eighth graders Jack McCulley and Leah Twenty, who are going to read two letters written by uh, now freshmen from uh, Whitefish Bay. Thank you very much. Dear veterans, my name is Bill. I'm currently an eighth grader at Whitefish Bay Middle School in Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. I want to let you know how thankful I am that you served our country. I have both of my parents in the military. We've moved countless times and have had to start my life over every time. But it's that struggle that helps me understand why people like you mean so much to us. You had to risk your life for the well-being of every American, including me. Without you, I may not be writing this letter. You mean so much more to us than you think. You are just like the men in the Revolutionary War who kept the American dream alive. Thank you. Dear veterans, I'm Anna, an eighth grader at Whitefish Bay Middle School in Wisconsin. We have learned about the Revolutionary War and Valley Forge in history class this year. Every day we should take time to honor and think about what you did for our independence. You deserve this trip more than anyone else. My grandpa served 32 years in the Navy, while my uncle served 15 years in the Army. Your family should be so proud of you. You are the reason for America's independence. Thank you, and I hope you have a safe trip to Washington, D.C. And now, Mr. Rose, our Vice Principal. Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School. Today's message is about Veterans Day, November 11th. This is a solemn day where we celebrate all veterans, whether living or deceased, for the service and sacrifices that they have made in serving their country. A veteran can be anyone who served in the armed forces, whether during a time of peace, or time of war. Currently in the United States, there are over 18 million living veterans. That may seem like an awful uh, high number of veterans, but please keep in, uh, in mind that that's only about 7% of our population. That has changed over the years. Uh, during World War II, the percentage was much higher um, as well as during the, the, the Vietnam War. Currently in the United States, there are over 1 million retired Army soldiers, 1 million who have served, made it a career, served over 20 years. Uh, and, and that is certainly something that uh, needs to be recognized as well. So this day is, is a day to remember all veterans, to remember what they have had to endure. Many were away from their families for many, many uh, periods, longer, long periods of time. One of my uh, friends was uh, served in World War II. He was away from his family for almost five years, if you can imagine that. Our younger soldiers that are coming back from conflicts like in Afghanistan and Iraq, they have been away from their family multiple times for years on end. So let's remember all of our veterans today. If you know any veterans, maybe call them, send them a text, send them a letter of thanks in, in supporting uh, the, the ideals of our nation and keeping us safe. I hope you have a great day and I hope that you always remember Veterans Day. Our fellow seventh grade students will now sing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with gold. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with foam, God bless America. My home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. From the mountains 
to the prairies, to the oceans, wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Students have written what Veterans Day means to them. Veterans Day is a holiday that is celebrated every November 11th every year. Veterans Day is held to honor and celebrate the military veterans who have fought in wars, have been loyal, and who have done great things for the country. The first Veterans Day was on November 11th in 1918, at the end of World War I, when it was declared the, world to, the, war, the war to end all wars. I think Veterans Day is a good idea because it honors the veterans who have fought in the war. Fought in the war. They deserve recognition for all their selfless acts towards the country. It's important to honor veterans because that way they can see that they're appreciated. If our veterans weren't celebrated in any ways, there might be fewer veterans, which would be bad for our country. Some people might want to be veterans because they won't be able to appreciate them. We honor veterans for all what they have done, so why not show it to them? Usually people with important roles are honored. Veterans had very important roles, so we should honor them and celebrate them. It is important to honor and celebrate our veterans because they have done so many great and amazing things for our country. Veterans have fought for our freedom in this country. They helped rebuild our communities after many different types of disasters. They gave us help and hope. They protect us even in the darkest times. They give so much even when they have so little. And lastly, they put other lives before their own. These are just a few of the many reasons why it is important to honor and celebrate our veterans. This is why I would like to say thank you for all that you have done for us. It is important to honor and celebrate our veterans because they honored us when they fought in wars and they deserve to be remembered for their accomplishments and bravery. The veterans who have fought in these wars honored us and, and our country by risking their lives to protect it. They were brave enough to stand up for our freedom and loyalty that they fought in the war and killed for it. All of these accomplishments need to be remembered by us because they helped save our country and keep it prosperous. Veterans Day is meaningful to me because it's an opportunity to recognize the sacrifices of our military men, women, and their families. These brave people protect our freedom every day. Many of my family members have served in the military. I'm so grateful for their sacrifice. Through this sacrifice, I feel safe and know that I have many liberties other people do not have in other countries. I have a deep respect for all military personnel. I think that it is important to celebrate our veterans because of what they were willing to do for us. They sacrificed their lives to make sure that we didn't have to and so that we would have a strong future in an amazing country. They showed their love for America in the biggest way possible, and they wanted to do anything to protect our country. That is so inspiring, and I am lucky to have two grandfathers that served in our military. Thank you, veterans. Veterans Day is important because it is a day to appreciate those who have fought in war to protect our country, to protect each and every one of us. These veterans put our lives for in front of theirs. Although war is not the most joyful thought, it is important to appreciate those who have fought in war to protect our country. Veterans Day is an important day to me because my great-grandpa is a veteran who fought in World War II. After all these risks that veterans have took to protect us, I believe it is our turn to show them how we appreciate what they have done. Veterans Day to me means to celebrate the soldiers who fought slash are still fighting for the, for the states. It's about honoring the fighters who protected the United States. Veterans serve and fight for the country. They continue to fight for the future and better of the United States. They leave their families to defend and fight for the country we live in. Their bravery and loyalty to our home is strong and they risk their lives to protect us. Veterans do everything they can to make the world better and safer for everyone. It's important to honor them dead or alive for their service. Veterans Day is a time 
when we can honor the people that fought for our country. It is a day when we thank all those people who are dead and alive for their sacrifices. My grandfather was a veteran, and I am so honored to be his granddaughter. Veterans Day means so much to me in so many ways. But I am going to say this. When it is Veterans Day, you are not going to think that you can just blow it off. You have to learn to appreciate how many lives we lost, how many veterans we lost. But in all, Veterans Day means a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to you too. Stay safe. Veterans Day is important, not only to me, but also my family. It's important to my family and I because my dad is a veteran. He's a captain in the United States Army Reserves, where he, he serves as a logistics officer. All veterans are important and need to be appreciated, whether or not they participate in a small role or a big role while helping our country. Whether they are retired or still serving, veterans need to be respected and acknowledged at all times. They have helped our country in many ways, which has assisted in improving our country to grow into a better community. They serve so that we may have our freedom. What Veterans Day means to me is time to honor people who have served for our country. They are brave and have done a good job good for places that need them. I thank them for their service. Veterans Day means to me that we are honoring the people who are, have served our country loyally and have continued to serve righteously and powerfully. There are many things they could have uh, done that don't involve the risk of dying, but they cho chose not to. They choose to risk their lives for everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean an entire country. It may be insane for some people to even think about risking their lives like that, but they still do it. Uh, they have the courage and passion for their country that is not found uh, in anyone else. They have something that most people don't have. They can see things that make people that make people think that there's no good in the world. They have, but they still do it. Even though some people were forced into war into the earlier days, they still should be honored for respecting our country, even though they probably didn't want to, to leave their family so abruptly. So thank you for serving our country. Veterans Day by Cheryl Dyson. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call, soldiers young and soldiers old, fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're all proud of the soldiers who kept thinking of the red, white, and blue. They fought for us in all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. Thank you, veterans, for all you have done for our country. We greatly appreciate your sacrifices. Our Veterans Week assembly concludes with the playing of taps. According to the history.com, this distinctive melody is played at military funerals and memorials, um, and as a lights out signal to show as to soldiers at night. Written in July 1862 during the Civil War, U.S. General Daniel Butterfield wanted a better way to indicate to his troops the call to go to bed for the night. He reworked an existing bugle call and had his official bugle player play the 24-note tune for the men. Other units became interested in taps, and it quickly spread throughout the Union Army. Not long after taps was composed, it was played at the military funeral for a Union soldier killed in battle. Officials felt the tune was beautiful, respectful tribute, and since 1891, TAPS has been a formally re recognized part of the U.S. military funerals. Today, as a symbol of respect and honor, we too play this tribute 
to all veterans in gratitude for their courage, sacrifice, commitment, and service. Hi, I'm William and I'm the Whitefish Bay Student Council Vice President. Thank you for watching our Veterans Day video. And to all the veterans, thank you so much for your dedication, courage, and service.